And here they are on Overgrowth as the purple Protoss player. He's playing for Monolith Gaming. It is strange. And his team col colleague, comrade, call them whatever you will. He is our blue Terran player, spot in the t bottom left corner. It is EXE. And he just beat Strelok. Straight up, man. In that last game, um, in that last match. Pretty sweet series, to be honest. Um, he uh, got that perfect timing to beat Strelok two times. Um, first game, just overwhelmed his Hellion army, and that last game as well. Second game uh, didn't quite work out quite as well, but Strelok, he was just in a perfect spot to stop everything. He had all the missile turrets in place, he had a little bit mobile defense force with lots of Hellions uh, in Metavax. So once you have Strelok in that position, I think he's pretty hard to beat, but EXE, he just, he just smelled that timing and knew, okay, I can do it one more time, and he made it happen. So I'm excited to see what he's gonna do with his teammate here. Early gas is coming out for EXE. Strange, uh, not producing anything yet. There we go. First gas is placed down, and he's gonna go for a second right away. So unless he gets three workers in there, um, would be a regular timing. But if he gets three workers in there, we'll have to watch out and possibly check for for weird shenanigans that could be happening. But we'll keep an eye on that. And EXE, see what he's gonna do with all of his gas. Maybe a Reaper early on, but eh, eh. Oh, he is doing it. I don't know. I don't. I'm not really sure if I like this. Sure, you can go for it if you can keep it alive. It's it's not too shabby. You can send it back in there. But uh, I don't know. Thing is, is it's just a single Reaper. It's it's not gonna hurt your. Uh, your macro game all that much. Wow, that's interesting. Strange, just check the expansion. So he doesn't really care what else is coming. He's gonna play it safe. He's going for the Zealot, so uh, not skipping the Zealot, going straight for the... Uh, oh, he's skipping the Zealot. I'm confused, Strange. Strange here, just a little bit strange. And he's already hiding a probe down there. But these guys, I mean, they're teammates, both play for Monolith Gaming, they... Um, train a lot with each other I'd assume so maybe they have these little tells that just help so much like little things that they know okay if he's doing that oh he's definitely going for this build that he likes and I think this is exactly what happened here and this is exactly the reason why EXE is uh, scouting for that hidden probe right now he knows okay uh, this is something that Strange likes to do I'll have to check everywhere and Strange um, finally going for his first defensive unit after getting an early expand going. Going for that Stalker. And still on two workers on one of his guys. Oh, finally getting the third probe in there. And EXE also going for his expand right there. Reactor is already done, so we might see a Hellion. Oh, the probe not quite getting in there in time. And I think that was actually a probe that was hidden here somewhere. So, nothing strange going on by Strange. I thought he might hit, uh, hide some tech, but then again, his, uh, yeah, his double gas, gas came so late. His workers got in there way too late, so I guess uh, it did make sense to do it like this. And not try to hide any crazy tech. But he is going for the Robo now, and finally going for some sentries, also getting his Forge out. So it looks like a regular Stargate play. Um, no gases are being taken yet. So we can't really tell all that much. And that's EXE going straight for the Widow Mine. And he does love his 111 style. We'll try to put on some pressure here, but since the Robo is almost done, I don't think um, that this Widow Mine will do all that much damage. But a uh, nice Reaper Scout. You see the Forge finishing up. And can check, of course, how much gas is in there. Oh, and he flew off the cliff down here. Yeah, so I doubt that this pressure will do all that much. Uh, Mothership Core has some decent energy. Um, he doesn't have Medevac available yet. It's almost finishing up, so I guess the first move will be made by EXE once he has the Medevac over there. Not gonna do all that much beforehand. 
but the observer sees everything. So it's likely we'll likely see either a split or yeah, cannons. Cannons are being put up. And with those cannons, he's perfectly safe against uh, any drops that EXE will put out here. So yeah, th I, this is definitely the work of two players that know each other, that know their playstyle, know... Strange knows, okay, EXE, he loves his drop play, and this is something I need to watch out for. And there we go, there is the first drop attempt. And he's getting a lot of damage on his medivac, and we'll take it out, but he, at least he unloaded everything. But unload straight in there. Ooh, the Mediva, uh, the Udomai not doing all that much. Marines are getting slaughtered on both sides. And he's gonna lose everything here. Wow. 700 resources more than his opponent. That is quite bad already. And he's behind on workers as well. Just by a little bit. Uh, but he also got the later command center, so... That's not a good spot for EXE to be in. Kind of looks like that second game with uh, Starlock, so he's gonna try it one more time. This drop wasn't spotted, but I think Strange knows. Oh yeah, yes, the Stalker's in position. Other way behind this is going for the Robotics Bay and also Twilight Council. And there's the plus one upgrade. So. Yeah, just preparing for Colossi, um, maybe High Templars later on, something along those lines. EXE scouting out this third, it's a nice spot, maybe he can force a cancel here. There's a pylon available, but maybe not enough, uh, not enough warping potential right now. I don't think that Strange has enough uh, gateways, yeah, he only has three gateways, that's not enough to stop this, so I think he's gonna force a cancel here. Nope, Stalkers are just way too fast, ooh, nice trap laid out there. EXE getting at least one Stalker, but that's too much firepower, I think. Uh, now he's just sacrificing everything in there. He did get rid of the Sentry. And that was kind of specific by him. There's the next Medivac coming in. Maybe that was the whole reasoning here. He knew he had a second Medivac coming in, but he could have retreated a little bit back. Oh, there's a third Medivac. Did he do any damage with that? Oh, he is gonna force a cancel. Not bad. Right now, Strange doesn't have anything to stop this. He still, um, yes, he still had to deal with a little bit of a drop over here. And EXE, well, that's not a lot of firepower, though. He is ready to storm out of there if he can. Ooh, even saving that one Widow Mine. Oh, mind you, he is gonna be back. He's gonna be back, my friend. And he will get rid of that Nexus any way he can. But uh, I gotta give it to Strange. Uh, he has some really good map vision. Um, could possibly place a second observer on the right side just to be a little bit safer um, with drops into the main. But other than that, uh, he has some pretty good map vision. Three observers out in the field, one with his army, uh, one up close and personal, and one right there in the middle. But this could be a zealot right here on the on the Zelnaga tower, and then half the observer either on the right side of the map or on the left, just to keep that third safe. Blink is done, plus two has started, and the Thermal Lens, Extended Thermal Lens is in production as well, and almost finished. He's just now going for additional gateways, so Strange is getting in a better and better position here. And right now, EXE a little bit overwhelmed, um, didn't really get his uh, production up to up to par uh, with his income. So a little bit high on the uh, minerals right now, 2000 in the bank. It's nothing, nothing you would expect to see out of him right now. And he has this little bit of weird timing for his uh, stim. Stim and his upgrades, all of his upgrades get in there a little bit later. Well, I mean, that's it's th just due to his uh, the way he plays this out. I mean, he gets the, the 111 early on, uh, he gets goes for the gas early on, then goes for this pretty aggressive attack. In TVP, we've seen him use the, wood oh, the um, Widow Mines, but... He's always going for this um, marine medevac drop, and that's that's gonna cut into your techs and your upgrades a little bit. So it does make sense, but still, I think he could probably squeeze out maybe a couple of seconds here or there to get these upgrades out a little bit faster. This is already a decently sized army, and he already has the answer to the colossi. Six Vikings in the mix. That's three colossi. 
uh, for Mr. Strange right here. And he get this. Uh, he got this third up way earlier. He has some static defense here available as well, and he has a pretty solid army as well. Does have Zealot uh, leg speed, and the first Archons are being produced. No storm research is in production just yet, so he he will need to watch out for that. Um, just Archons will make do for now, but later on he wants to have that switch. He wants to have that switch available to go from Colossi straight into High Templar. And wow, SCVs are pulled here for EXE, and he's going straight for it. Vikings are getting some decent shots off. First Colossus is being picked out. Oh, the Mothership Core goes down as well, but the Vikings are melting away. Might get a second Colossus, that would be quite vital. But oh, why is half his army fighting over there? The other half losing down here, and wow, the Colossi, they're still clearing this up. Strange in a really good spot. I think he can clear this entire army out and with that it's gonna be tough for EXE to make a comeback happen here Yeah, oh he has a little bit of a uh, little bit of a tiny army waiting down here But that's not enough and there are still two colossi left alive Archon still has a little bit of energy left as well. Oh, nope, you need to retreat now This third is lost for sure, but Strange needs to watch out. I mean, he needs to... Whoop. There's the GG. <laughs> so much for that. That's 1-0 for Strange. And EXE, once again, once he doesn't do all that much damage with his first drop, he's in a kind of an iffy situation. And we've seen that happen versus Strelok, and the same thing happened here. Strange can capitalize on those, on those tiny mistakes. But go for the 2-0. Be a little bit of a surprise to me since uh, EXE did put out some amazing play in those in those previous games, but still, something to keep in mind here. All right, let's see what the next map is going to be. All righty. Lobby is up. Where's my invite? Where's that invite coming in? I'll ask again, just real nicely. There it is. King Seon Station is the map. And this was the map where EXE managed to uh, yeah just kill off uh, kill off dear old Strelok. and both of them are ready of course uh, TVP is a vastly different matchup maybe exe needs to adjust for that you can shave off a couple of seconds by leaving out the Reaper then coming in a little bit earlier with his with his medevac because of that but maybe maybe you can just go out in a little bit of a macro style and try these double um double pronged harassments with the drops in two different spots though i think on king Seon station it's it's not really uh, it's kind of hard to pull off to be honest let's see if he can make it happen here he is playing for monolith gaming spawned on the bottom right side here on king seon station he is the blue terran it is exe and his opponent has the purple protoss he spawned on the top left also playing for monolith it is strange quite strange indeed but he had some really solid defense in that last game so I would expect him to at least know, okay, I'm in a good spot, I had an amazing play in the previous game. If I just keep up my scouting, if I have a really good map vision, um, if I get that early scout in and see, okay, is he going for that early gas again, is he trying that 1-1-1 again? Um, okay, now I just need to keep everything close and just watch out, okay, is there a drop coming in? And here on King Seon Station, I think, um, yeah, I think these drops are not, yeah, not as good. Talked about this before, but 
Another thing that EXE could pull off over here is just that um, this is pr pretty much the same stuff that he did against Strelok, where you just siege up and get a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer every time, and once the natural is gone, then it's just a little bit of a jump over into the main. And we never actually saw that happen versus Strelok, he just gave up straight away. And there we go, early gas was taken by EXE, double gas is coming in, was strange. And one worker, let's see how many workers he gets in there. Just one for now, interesting. But this was... Well, it was a little bit early, but there we go. Second one should be coming in here pretty soon. Second one is in the right gas already. And EXE not opting to skip that Reaper. So he doesn't want to sacrifice the scouting information just for a little bit of extra minerals. Not gonna happen here. And the probe will make it into the main. Uh, no way he can stop that. And Strange, so far, um, not opting to skip the Zealot, but let's see. He scouts all of this. Knows, okay, Reaper's coming out. Um, I can just skip the Zealot. Go straight for the Nexus, he's not gonna get there all too soon, and then by the time I'll be good to go, I have my Mothership Core available, and can defend this quite easily. Meanwhile, EXE, once that probe was gone, he just pumped out that reactor in no time. And there we go, factory being put down right away as well. And the Reaper getting in there. See what he can scout out. Should be in a good spot to at least get in there once. Scout out the gases. Gotta click on that, and that's one of the gases. Uh, still two workers in gas here for a strange. And there we go. Reaper gets in there a second time. Might actually get a kill. Nope, not gonna happen. Oh, maybe he does want to get killed. Oh, I think he sucked. Wow, that was incredibly close. He sat there for a sec. And if he would have stayed any longer, uh, he would have lost that Reaper. I think that's actually quite bad if you lose that Reaper early on, because that kind of forces you to um, go for a scan. And with this, with the style that EXE plays, he can't really afford that scan. Because he's, he's going for all-out aggression early on, and this is not something you can put out. But for me, it kind of looks a little bit different this time. He's not going for the second gas quite as early, and... Starport uh, is there, but no, no tech lab. So, looks a little bit different, but this looks pretty much the same. Just six marines and the widow mine making their way over. Uh, we'll get that medevac up here pretty soon as well. Is he gonna throw in a couple of aliens in the mixes? I doubt it, but. He needs, he needs the marine production, and still going for the Widow Mine production at the same time. How is Strange equipped to handle this? Right now, I don't see all that much. But he has a lot of energy on his Mothership Core, so he should be in a good spot. Put, put, throw, uh, throw down at least one overcharge. And he has two Stalkers available as well. And behind this, getting a lot of gateways, so up to three gateways. He has the Observer available, just because he kind of suspect, suspected, okay, there could be a Banshee play coming in. Better be safe than sorry. And those Marines are just patiently waiting. They're waiting for the next uh, Medivac to make, the w make its way up there. This one is already stacked and loaded. Ooh, Strange is gonna see a little bit here. Um, let's see if he sees that next Medivac. The thing is, EXE, he is playing this thing out similar to the way uh, he played against his first opponent, I think. Damn it, I can't quite remember. Who was his first opponent? Well, um, where he tried the double drop and just drop in different places at once, and I think this is what's gonna happen here. There's the Widow Mine. Oh, wow, everything is stacked up! Nope. Just losing two. Uh, just losing two probes there. That's still okay. But there we go. I don't think. Oh, EXE, not quite. Not quite uh, doing the synchronous play here. There's the photon cannon coming in. Ooh, nice job here on the widow mine for the overcharge getting in there right away. Single probe will no, not even a single probe going down. Some really good defense for Strange. He knows his stuff. He knows how he needs to stop EXE. 
And one more drop play. One more drop play. And he this one as well. Adam is there. This time we won't have an overcharge available. But that's double drop play right there. But ooh, first medivac goes down straight away. I think a widow mine might might have been able to burrow there. Yep. Get rid of a single stalker. Wow! This is such a strong drop right there. Next stalkers are warping in and the widow mine will not make it. Overcharge really helping out here quite a bit. And to be honest, uh, I gotta say, I think Strange defended this quite well. He's still ahead of workers. He's not losing anymore. He, he's in a good spot. He has Blink almost done, so he's far far ahead in tech. Um, he just needs to defend at home, and once those Fortaline Cannons are, uh, I think there's pretty much nothing holding him back. He can go for a Blink Stalker all in if he wants to. To follow this up, plus one is also on the way, plus one armor that is. But right now he still has double proc harassment that he needs to deal with. Widowmine is loaded, will get a kill? Nope, not quite, not quite loaded. And up here, he's in a, he's in a solid position. And here we see the same problem happening again and again, but wait, first there's a drop again, one more time. Sickle Photon Cannon might not cut it, he still needs those Stalkers in there at least. And Photon Cannon is gone. The XE just buying himself a little bit of time every time this happens. Oh, workers are coming in to help as well. The thing uh, is that EXE did scout out all of these gateways, so he knows he needs to prepare for some solid defense. And wow, even keeping a couple of units alive for, and doing the double pronged arrest on the right side. Caught up in workers almost, and Strange just lost a lot of stuff overall. Um, he could have handled this a little bit better. His defense was solid early on, but I, th I don't think he realized that EXE was fully committed to this, that he really wanted to get a little bit more kills in and wanted to make this work somehow, some way. And there we go, gateways are finishing up. There's no proxy pile in position just yet. EXE has a pretty decently sized army here. And his upgrades are about to finish, so that is the whole reasoning why he still went in there. Why he still um, sacrificed a couple of units just to get those upgrades out. With those upgrades, I think he can hold this. It's still gonna be tough, but I think he can hold it. Strange even gonna do it. He has an observer of this army. I think he's kind of hesitating, and rightly so. I mean, look at this. He doesn't have a lot of medevacs, but still, there are more coming out. Um, plus one is done. Plus one armor has just started and the uh, stim is almost finished as well. Combat shields is done. That's a tough fight you're picking here, Strange. And he knows it. He knows it. He's gonna turn around. Even with Blink Micro, this is no army you want to face as a Protoss. Hey, Schlumpfina is there. Not seen you in age. Oh fuck! I'm focusing out that medevac so soon. Good job, strange. Losing those medevacs actually hurts quite a bit. Uh, since you do want to keep the medevacs alive, if you're um, you want to keep that bio army alive, and you also want to get the Vikings out because the first Colossus is already in production. Plus one is just about done. Thermaland's not quite on the way. He needs he needs the Colossus. Good force fits here on the right side, but those zealots are not doing all that much. A little bit of a meat shield, but this is a really big army for EXE. He's moving in, the Colossus coming from the top. Maybe he can focus him out, nope. Not quite getting there in time, but Colossus needs to watch out as well. This is a really good concave for EXE. And now he's moving out on top, getting on top of this Colossi. But nice micro, out of strange. He's keeping the Colossus alive for now, but no. Uh, this is just way too much stuff. EXE just trampling strange, and... Maybe, yep, he's gonna get out of here, but since the Colossus was lost, um, he's probably just gonna go for all-out production, gets a couple more units over there, get a couple of Vikings in there, and once he has that, um, he's just gonna run over Strange. The third is well on, uh, well on its way to just throw out decent amount of uh, resources. I mean, look at this. 2,000 resources, 2,000 minerals uh, just coming in. For EXE, that's not too shabby. But he did lose quite a bit in that fight. 
So with that tiny army um, against Colossi, it's not going to work right now. But if he can keep Strange on two bases, uh, he's in a good spot. He should work on his upgrades though as well. And this is exactly why this armory is just a tiny bit too late. Still churning out a lot of marines, but almost supply block. No, he's working on that as well. So once those Vikings get here, um, I think once the Vikings get there, he, he can go for the attack. But it's getting more and more colossi, and Strange knows this. He's working on his follow-up. Templar archives are on the way. Also getting a lot more gateways. That's a lot of gateways for just two bases, but he knows, okay, if I'm trapped back there, I can make a turnaround happen. I, I might lose my entire army, but if I get rid of most of his medevacs, most of his vikings, I can make a st turnaround happen, but ooh, this is way too much Terran. And way too many vikings. They're gonna get rid of that... Will they? Nice focus fire by Strange! Getting rid of the vikings straight away, but still look at that concave for EXE! The only thing that's helping Strange is his own natural there. And wow, EXE just blasting through everything. There's the GG! And that's the turnaround, that's the 1-1, EXE closes it out, and we're going into a third and final map here in the series between two teammates from Monolith Gaming, EXE and Strange. And EXE, wow, I mean, he tried his draw play again, it didn't quite work out, but he bought himself enough time to get the upgrades out and to kind of make the shortcomings of his, of his style not matter all that much. If you go in for that all out aggression, not doing that much damage, I mean, he still did some decent damage. Don't get me wrong, um, he got um, uh, got some tech down, he, he destroyed a lot of workers, got rid of, um, I think he got rid of the Mothership Core, um, all, all, all some decent stuff. Uh, next map is gonna be Nimbus, but the most important part was there, just keep his units alive, keep those drops alive and keep them coming in. Chat is definitely too quiet, but that's your job, Kazanix. You're always doing a good job with that. Usually you are. <laughs> okay. Final map. Nimbus. Ladder edition. Monolith Gaming team match. <laughs> so to say. Let's get it started. In the top right corner, here on Nimbus, spawned as the Blue Terran, he is EXE. His opponent, as the Purple Protoss, playing for Monolith, he is Strange. Everyone excitedly and quietly listening to this cast. So Shalfini, you're still into StarCraft? Still following the scene at all? I know I haven't watched all that much StarCraft, but I should. There's still some, some exciting stuff going on. I think the last big tournament I watched was um, Home Story Cup. I didn't follow the whole thing, but... I watched um, I watched some some uh, some of the later playoff matches. Okay, EXE, what what is your plan here? Are you going for the early expand again? Are you trying to kill him off early on? I mean, Strange had some really good defense early on. Might wanna stick to your guts and try to win it out in the later game. Go for the double prompt. Double prompt drops, those worked out quite well. And he is going for the early expand. Double gaze gas came a little bit earlier this time for Strange. Probably quite a bit earlier. We'll have to see. I think he's gonna get uh, maybe two workers in there at most. Two workers, and he's doing a little bit of a different style. Usually, you see players going for two workers at the same exact time on both gases, but he always has one in in one of them, and then puts it put the second one in 
Maybe like a minute later. Which is an interesting style. Gives him a little bit more resources early on to play around with. And he always starts producing the Zealot. And then once he gets the scout going, um, it realizes, okay, there's no aggression coming out. Um, I'm in a good spot. Cancels the Zealot and goes straight for the Mothership Core. This time, uh, scout, yeah, it's already on its way. I think, uh, yeah, he already cancelled the Zealot. So he just gets that up in case something weird happens. Poor Kazanix, chat was quiet for an hour. And there we go, second uh, second probe was sent in there. Just as expected. And what did Strange actually see? He saw the two barracks, so he knows, okay, either complete aggression or just an expand. And on Nimbus, you would expect the expand. But still, uh, you do want to get, you do want to get a stalker out to defend and get a mothership card out as soon as possible just to save up on some energy. That's the third barracks already. So I see that EXE basically adjusts his styles based around the map, not so much, well maybe a little bit based around his opponent, but mostly based around the map. There's a second refinery, so not not going to save on these upgrades this time around. Oh, nice little change of plan, strange. Hidden Stargate, and a nice spot, let's see if EXE is prepared for this. Yeah, right, I watched the Community Cup, but I only watched a couple of matches of that. And was there any big event afterwards? Oh wow, Strange really saving himself in all directions, going for the Robo as well. Just to get that Observer out as soon as he can. And a Sentry, of course, up front, uh, just to close this off, if need be. Uh, probably won't help against the style that EXE plays, since... Uh, there uh, will be drops uh, in his usual way that he's playing this, but not this time. He's going for early upgrades, and I don't know. He's not really safe against drops uh, against uh, Oracle play right now. Just six Marines. Uh, I think it might be enough to ward uh, Strange off, but not quite. Oracle's almost done. I think you need nine Marines to ward it off for sure. But, of course, with the reactor, um, he's gonna churn up marine like it's no tomorrow, so... There's gonna be more marines coming in. And since he does have a couple here... Oh no, don't move him back! That's the missile turret coming in. And one kills, two kills, three kills, and the oracle still gets out of there. And that's the thing with the oracle, you can usually save it. If you are you have a good, re good enough reaction time, you can save it, get back in there, just be a nuisance. So what is Strange planning here? More gateways, double forge, oh, there's a pause. Let's give us a little bit of time to talk about <laughs> FU dog. What's going on? <laughs> well, they are teammates. <laughs> so he probably realized, okay, what the heck is going on? Why does he ha already have marines over there? Well, um, I think he's gonna go for a regular... Trying to open the door and kill the cat. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, he's he's gonna go for a lot of gateways. Um, just get his upgrades out. Have, um, have decent upgrades early on. But this time, EXE is playing with some early upgrades as well. So a little bit of a change up for him. Does he have that second? Nope, just so far just one eBay. This could work out to be a nice timing. The star, uh, starport is almost done. The swap. Factory is of course coming over. Ooh, not gonna happen. You won't get in here, Oracle. Shields might be charged up, but that's way too many marines to deal with. Oh, trying to dart around. Oh, and there is the envision. Uh, the follow-up for Strange also based around Twilight Council, but of course first he wants to try to get the Colossi out, get his upgrades out. 
and then just make it work with a regular gateway army. Behind this EXE also going for another command center and um, going for concussive shell upgrades. Uh, let's see, if he, is he gonna churn out an additional eBay? Not quite yet, he should go for that. And also go for the armory just to be safe. I like this, just not caring about the envision effect at all. Just going over there all by himself. And I mean, the thing is, uh, this is not that big of an army. He knows that he's not gonna do all that much with it. But a single marine scouts us out, and this is still it might be enough to pressure this. There's two marauders in there, but he could also... Oop, there's the cancel. That was definitely worth it. Ballsy move, but worth it. And he got rid of the oracle as well. Well, not rid, but at least stayed safe. Okay, we got some widow mines in the mix now as well. And there is the next starport, so it's just gonna be bio and lots and lots of medivacs. And re of course preparing uh, for the Viking production right now. He knows, okay, there's a Colossus already in the mix. I need to be prepared, but the way he, he plays around this lack of Vikings right now... Ooh, getting rid of the Observer, that's always nice. Just gives him a little bit more leg space. Allows him to uh, just try to come in and da dash in from two sides, and that's exactly his plan right now. I mean. He wants to play around the Colossi right now, just two drops on both sides, but two cannons and stalkers, that's not gonna work, EXE. You's, you're gonna lose a lot of shit right there. And you're also gonna lose this uh, Nexus, strange, that's exactly what he planned. So I, I like this play, this is something that he's continually doing here. And will he? Yep, he's gonna scout out the Stargate as well. Will he though? Nope. Uh, he should know that it was proxy, but Nimbus uh, a little bit too big to scout out all the locations. You could also see it over here, over here on this uh, location. So, a lot of locations that it could be happening. Oh, nice play! Nice these little little things that just help out so much. Well, if the missile turret would have actually gotten finished, but now the Oracle is not going to move back there. You can finish the missile turret and move his next uh, orbital over there as well. How is he doing on the upgrade department? Still on that single eBay? I don't know. That, that's one thing I don't like about the style that EXE is playing. If you're going for this mass bio, better like go all out on the upgrades. Get a second eBay, get the armory up sooner, and then just be in a good spot to the um, to get your army on on a higher level. And I think this is finally the time for Strange to finish this nexus and get a third of his own. A little bit later than Strange, but um, yes, a good amount of workers. We'll churn out a couple more. We'll also see another change here. This time around, Strange already has High Templars uh, in the mix, and he has Storm almost halfway done. So he's not completely relying on these Colossi. And looking at the Viking count, we'll, we'll have to see if EXE is overreacting to the Colossi. So far, I mean, 8 Vikings, that's still good. He should, he might stop after these additional four and instead go for more Medivex again. But right now, he really doesn't want to attack. He wants to attack the moment that plus one armor is done. And possibly with those next Vikings. Oh, he's even gonna pull a lot of SCVs. Is he gonna pull all of his SCVs? No, not quite. But he pulled a lot. And. I really don't know why he does that. He also did in, in the game versus uh, Strelok, I think. And there it actually helps, but here? In the PVT? How much energy do these Thai Templar already have? They have a lot of energy already. Some decent storms here on the right flank. Colossi will be taken out though, and those Vikings can probably land here soon. And does he have any more energy? Yes, some decent storms. Oh, he's even standing still, but... This is way too much Terran. A plus arm, plus one armor upgrade really helping out quite a bit. That's the next storm. Not a lot of Medivex to heal this back up though. So he needs to watch out. And that's a lot of cannons there for Strange. But he's just gonna waltz into the main. He's just gonna do so much damage to the production line. And that's the last units for Strange. Can he push out a lot, a lot more? It doesn't look like it. Just a couple of Zealots. A single Archon. Looks like EXE is gonna make it into the finals, ladies and gentlemen. 
But Strange not giving up yet. Not giving up just yet. He's gonna pull a couple of probes, try to get it from the back. These units are awfully low, and the energy's almost depleted on all of these medivacs. Archons might do some decent damage, but not gonna be quite enough. The Zealots are clearing up the ground forces, though. Another small unit comes in from the back. Ooh, nice shot in those Widow Mines. But see that army that's trickling in here on the, on the back. Just so many Marines trickling in. If he gets rid of the workers in the gas and gets rid of the Archons, gets rid of the Colossi, there's nothing stopping this Marine onslaught. Oh, good job stopping the Colossus in production. And he still has these Widow Mines like mixed into his army and these are just a nuisance to deal with. Still, Strange is gonna try everything he can. Trying to rebuild his... <laughs> Try to rebuild his pylon somehow, but it's not gonna work. EXE wins out over his teammate Strange in a pretty amazing series. Some really cool games tonight, and it's all due to this guy. Um, really putting out a nice style, um, nice harassment based style. I, I love it. I like it quite a bit.